Hi guys, in this lesson we're going to show you how to create uh, the part for laser cutting for your desk tidy. Um, in the previous lesson I showed you how to use um, the import tool to create um, an image from the internet and I have it here, the Apple logo. Um, again, you don't have to do that, you're free to do your own thing. Um, but I'm showing you this example of how to do it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drag my cylinder in like that. Okay. And with the cylinder, what I want to do is I want to make it nice and smooth. So when you slide this slider here, if you have less sides, you can see it looks a bit jagged more sides makes it nice and smooth so that makes it more of a perfect circle then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it the correct height so the correct height for this is going to be three millimeters which is the same um, thickness as the um, MDF then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it the correct size so I'm going to make it 60 millimeters by 60 millimeters. So again, I'm going to click that there, done that one, done that one, done that one, and then 60. Okay, so now I have my a disc. So that is the area that you're going to have to design within. Um, so there's two designs I could do. I could do one where the Apple symbol sits on top of this one, as shown in the example in the class, or I could do one where the Apple symbol is going to be taken away. Or the third one, or we put a hole in the middle and then we join the Apple symbol to the one in the middle. So for that one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the view. So I'm going to go to top view and I'm going to change this. Okay, that switches the perspective. So I can see straight from the top. And now I can do. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Like that. So I know this is 60 radius. Oh, sorry, 60 diameter. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click it. Um, and I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to um, duplicate it. So click. Duplicate and like that to copy it. So you press the duplicate, hold down the shift key and drag it. And that duplicates your file. The reason why I've duplicated it is because I want to create another one but a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to click that dimension and I'm going to change it to 50. Enter and then I'm going to click that dimension and change it to 50. So now I have a circle that's 60 and a circle that's 50. Just so I can see what's happening, I'm going to change the colour. That one. And I'm just going to change the view. Now I change the view, I'm going to go back to my isometric view so I can see it quite easily. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up a little bit taller. And then I'm going to place it into there. Now what I want to do is I want it to be in the center. So again click that and it's not quite in the center so an easy way to do that is I select all of them I go to the align tool okay and I click there and then there. Okay that's aligned it into the center points like that. What I can then do is then I can then go back to my 3D view and remember what I can say from the first video is that if I want to take the red shape away from the orange shape, this shape has to be stripy. Okay, like that. I can then highlight them all. And what I can do then is I can click the group tool, which will take that away. And it gives me a ring like that. What I can then do, I can take my Apple symbol and I can hold down the shift key and I can reduce the size down like that 
and I can place it inside the center of here. Like that. So again, top view. Let's go to top view. Let's change that. Let's see if we can get a better alignment. Let's see if that's any better. It may not because that it aligns it from the center there. But because it's a funny shape, it's not quite exactly in the center. So with that, you might have to just slightly just try and use your eyes to get it right. That was there probably. Okay, now if that laser cut those parts out, there'll be two separate parts. Yeah. Which will be fine, but I want to be able to join it to the shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just literally make this a little bit bigger. Hold down the shift key, so it touches it at the, some point. So touch the bottom there and like there and there. So just turn it down a little bit. Okay, like that. So now I'm touching here and here and here. Um, what I could do then is I will then highlight them all and just simply click group. So that means now I have an object that is going to be laser cut as one piece. So the laser cut will come out here, cut that there, round we go, and it'll cut it together as one thing. Like that. So that's nice and easy to do. What you then do, you once you're happy with your design, you then go to export, and you want to go export for laser cutting okay so you click SVG and then that saves it as an SVG file which you can see here which then the laser cutter would follow those lines now I haven't quite made it overlap enough so that part of the apple would probably still be separate but it's big enough to find the laser cutter So that is how you would join the shapes together. Now remember, the important measurement is 60.